Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I would like to talk about CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. This guy from England, he posted a video criticizing me that uh, I am uh, making, uh, I am taking selective evidence in order to support my theory. Folks, I don't have to. I did not do any external studies. All I did was to study my own patients that has been going for eight years in the hospital I work and I'm seeing them. The mutations folks all of the times they only produce negative effects. They deteriorate the health. In many cases they even kill the patients through diseases like breast cancer or chronic lymphocytic leukemia or Wagner syndrome, uh, many, many examples I can give. But this guy says that CCR5 Delta 32 mutation actually gives protection to HIV and, uh, in, and that's an evidence to uh, evolution, that's an evidence to Darwinism. You see folks, <clears throat> I will discuss this tonight. For the sake of beginners, let me give you some uh, introduction. If you look into this picture, you can see HIV virus entering into the cell and uh, the main cell is a CD4 cell. In fact, in this diagram, you can see very clearly the virion on the left side. It is attacking the CD4 cells. Those are the T lymphocytes in the blood. And uh, if you look beyond that, there are uh, two receptors, CCR5 and CXCR4. And uh, if the patient is attacked through CCR5, that kind of uh, HIV strain is known as uh, R5 strain. If the patient is attacked through CXCR4, that kind of strain is uh, called uh, uh, R4 strain. Now, if you look into this diagram, folks, first see on the left side, there are CD4 cells being HIV is attacking here through CXCR4 receptor. And you see, usually, see just uh, look at the left side, SDF1. This is the chemokine receptor that uses uh, CXCR4 in order to enter into the CD4 cell. But now look at the right side. There is another receptor to attack CD4 cells. That is CCR5. And the CCR5 is the receptor for the chemokines. You can see on the left side of the right side diagram, MIP1 alpha, MIP1 beta, and the rantis. These three chemokines, they use CCR5. So what is happening, folks? You lost a receptor for three important chemokines in the body. So losing CCR5 is not benefit to the body to start with. And same function of an important receptor in the body. And you got a very short term protection against HIV virus. But now I want to uh, uh, think in this manner. You don't have a receptor. You got protection against HIV virus. Let me illustrate this way. You are living in a town, a big hurricane hit your town. After three days, people came into your town. Everybody was crying. I lost my home, this storm. Wow, it devastated my town. I lost my home. Everybody was crying. Only you are celebrating. I asked you, why are you celebrating? You said, I am the luckiest guy in this town because everybody lost their homes except me. I asked you, how come? And you said, because I am homeless. Because I am homeless, the storm did not do any damage to my properties. I mean, what kind of a logic is that? Neither homelessness nor, st uh, nor storm is a beneficial effect. You don't have a receptor, that's not a positive effect. And you are hit by HIV, that's not a positive effect either. So neither homelessness nor 
hitting by a storm is beneficial neither absence of a mutation or receptor nor being attacked by HIV virus is a beneficial effect. Now actually there are some other uh, damaging effects also. The National Institute of Health in Washington DC it made a research on CCR5 mutated people and these people they have resistance against HIV but they have higher incidence of hepatitis C virus you see, hepatitis C virus attacks these people more commonly than other people. And hepatitis C virus is a deadly virus too. It causes cirrhosis in the liver and uh, ultimately the hepatocellular carcinoma, the liver cancer. So this is not a beneficial effect, folks. And thirdly, I want to... Uh, the, 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 that was a research carried out by University of Bonn. The Delta 32 CCR5 mutation, it is increasing the susceptibility to hepatitis uh, uh, C virus. And the third thing I would like to mention is, uh, you see there are two receptors on CD4 lymphocyte, CCR5 and CXCR4. They are like two doors into the home. Now, people with CCR5 mutation, they have close that door but you see there is another receptor CXCR4 is still open so the virus will hit CCR5 it cannot enter into the cell but it will find a route through CXCR4 so this is not a full protection you see folks there are uh, I mean, there are two strains of HIV, one that attacks through CCR5 and the other that attacks through CXCR4. So even though you get protection against CCR5, you don't have protection against uh, strains that attack through CXCR4. So what it shows, folks, evolution is a big lie, folks. It does not have any evidence. I mean, even if I agree that... Uh, these mutations are beneficial. They show only beneficial effect in terms of uh, longevity. That you are going to live, you got some resistance against some kind of disease, but does that prove any evidence that one kind of organisms transform into a different kinds of organisms? No. None of these positive mutations can be shown to be beneficial in terms of transforming one kind of animals into another kind of animals. You see folks, I don't want to be unkind, but you got to be really, really stupid to believe in Darwinism, to believe in evolutionary theory. And uh, as I said, I can give you 5,000 negative mutations. Give me one mutation that produce a positive effect. You folks, only Jesus is true. Only the Bible is true, folks, not Darwinism. That's a philosophy trying to look like uh, science. Thank you.